Hey guys! I'm Evelyn. And my name is Adrian, and this is Lexi Dogs and Pets Care. We've been working with dogs of all sizes in the past few years, so we thought we'd share some useful tips and tricks what you can use to keep your dog entertained, exercised, and happy during self-isolation. These games are going to help you to keep them occupied indoors, so let's, let's begin! The first game is the hide the treat. You'll need only some treats for that. Charlie is an expert already at this game, but if your puppy is still new to it, don't hide your treats too well to begin with. Don't log your dog out for the first time, hide the treats in front of them. If they are good at sniffing things out, you can get more creative and place treats under or behind objects. If he's an absolute beginner, leave it somewhere easily visible. We usually use our homemade tuna treats for the trainings, which is super healthy, easy and quick to make. You'll find the recipes in the description. Good job! Good job, Charlie! The next game is the hide and seek. Don't need anything for this game, just you and the dog. Hey. This is a fun game to teach your puppy the names of the family members as well as to practice recall. When you are playing this for the first time, it's the best to have two people. One to encourage the pup to find the person hiding and the other one to hide and call the pup when ready. To increase the challenge, as your doggo gets better, don't call him when you hide, but your partner can still encourage to find you. On master level, you can also play with one human if your dog has a solid stay. You can get creative and also take this game outdoor. What is it? Hi, Charlie. Hi. Good boy. Good job. The next game is the share game. You need only some paper cups and treats. Hide the treat under one of the cups while your dog sees it. Shuffle the cups and ask them to find the treat. If your puppy is a beginner, start with only two cups and a very little shuffle. You can gradually build up the difficulty of this game and don't forget to finish all the games with a positive result. If they struggle, you can reduce the amount of the cups or can make it easier for them to follow. The next game is the golden laundry. You'll need a large tower and some treats. It's a very straightforward game, just hide the treats in the folds and ask your dog to find them. Feel free to help them if they struggle. Find the holes next. You need only an empty plastic bottle with some holes, preferably 500 ml and some treats. This game can only be played under your supervision as the bottle can cause injuries otherwise. This game is super easy. All you need to do is filling up the bottle with treats and let your dog figure the way of taking them out. If they are disengaged or unable to take them out, feel free to help them. Don't allow them to bite the button, encourage to use their paws. You will need a cardboard box, newspaper and treats, low and high value at the same time. 
Crumble the newspaper and throw it inside the box, fill it up, then mix it with the food. For advanced level, you can roll some high oil treats inside of the paper. Alternatively, you can use a large shopping bag instead of the box. Supervise for the first few times to make sure your pup knows what to do. Don't allow them to shred the paper. Make the most of your toilet paper. We know it's almost impossible to get toilet paper these days, so we try to make the most of it. We had only one toilet roll and filled it up with some regular newspaper. But if you're lucky enough to have more, make the filling with toilet rolls. Roll the treats inside and put it all in the roll. You may need to have them for the first few times, but once they get the grasp of it, you can just leave them to it. The scavenger. You will need your doggo's dry keepers. Instead of their balls, serve the meal on the floor, tossing the keepers all over. As dogs are natural scavengers, they will love collecting their meal and using their nose. You can also do it inside or outside if you're lucky enough to have a garden. Kong and Likimat. And finally, here are everyone's favorite. Feel free to use different kind of ingredients for filling up the Kong and the leaky mat. Don't forget to check if it's safe to eat for your doggy as some human food can cause a lot of trouble for them. We use carrot puree and eggs for the leak mat and filled up the Kong with Charlie's kibble and wet food. Remember to adjust their dinner after all these games if you don't want fatty dogs at the end of the self-isolation. Thank you guys for watching this video. There will be more to follow. Stay safe. Bye! Bye.